Hello, welcome to Sylvie Tarot. How are you doing? All right, so let's take a look and see what the urgent messages are at this time. What are the messages? What do we need to know in love? What do we need to know in love at this beautiful time frame? What's going on with my viewers in love? And what do they need to know? What do they need to know, Spirit? All right, let's see. What do we have here? We have music. We have not over and we have commitment phobia here. Mm. Bottom of the deck, we have, I will never forget. Hmm. I will never forget. And we have some regret popping up here. What is going on? So someone here is very much so in their feelings. I can tell you that someone here is in their feelings. Someone here is doing a dance that they've done before in the past but this feels different this completely feels different you know sometimes sometimes when you hurt someone or when you do something to someone sometimes and there's something that's called like conscience right and i feel like there's there's this guilt there's this regret energy that's kicking in and somebody's conscious at this time like someone here is looking back and saying like i'll never really forget or i won't forget at all the emotions and the thoughts and the love and the time that we shared together there's something about music maybe some of you could be a musician or again like we used to send each other music or music was something that we vibed to a lot with one another or someone here just basically loves to listen to music all right take that how that resonates but i feel like there's this energy of someone here saying like I connect with you through music or when I listen to music like that literally makes my day it makes me feel better and it allows me to really express how I truly feel about you so there's an energy of someone here it's like they're at the snail pace of trying to figure out um like what their emotions are trying to say to them could it be possibly that you know that you and someone else here possibly took some time off or there could have been some sort of rejection in this energy all right we do have commitment phobia big time here so definitely i feel like at some point someone here possibly pulled back or really left you in this space of trying to figure out was it love or was it lust like what really was it right were we really someone that really did we really connect emotionally and i feel like this is someone here that's sort of trying to trying to figure out if you're still interested trying to figure out if you're still wanting to give this a chance here and that could be you but i feel like someone here is like their regret is like getting the best of them all right and this could have been something you possibly said to this person that is now possibly sinking in or this person starting to realize again with all of these oceans right and all this this water and all this emotions i should say someone here is starting to realize how they feel about you OK, and I feel like some of you have really stepped back and said to yourself, like, I was a good person in this person's life. I was a good person in this person's energy. And I always brought in good vibes. I did. Now, I may have said some things that weren't the best or I may have reacted in ways that wasn't the best here. But again, we have this energy of true love here, karmic partner, and we have true love. Someone here is feeling as if like you brought true love into their life, but they're now starting to acknowledge that. All right. They're starting to acknowledge that for some of you, I will say this is something that you have made a decision about already. Unfortunately, you're just like Celevitero. This is not a situation that I feel like I have the capacity to work towards because I feel like I've given everything that I've, I could or I feel like I've given everything that I've got more so. And I feel like now you're just letting things set. You're letting the sun set here, as you could see. So some of you, again, you're in this position where you're like, I'm letting things go. I'm letting things be. Whatever the divine wants to do, you know, that could happen. But at this point, um, it's out of my hand. So a lot of you just feel like I'm completely tired, honestly, and I'm allowing things to set here. Some of you, I feel like there could be some sort of there could be some sort of like text message that comes in for you here, like after, you know, after sunset or something of that nature, or someone here wanting to apologize. I don't really get that this person's going to come out and say, hey, I'm sorry. I don't get that. I get that this is someone here that's going to try to roll in and say, hey, how are you doing? And trying to figure out maybe, you know, what are the vibes or what is the energy that we still have with one another? 
So I feel like this person comes in in a very unique way, but unique to them, okay? And I feel like for a lot of you here, this is where you're going to possibly have to make a decision. But again, like I stated, for some of you, like it's like, say, love you, Tara, I already made a decision already. Um, it's like, I don't feel like this person's going to change and this person's possibly now learning their karma. That's some of you, right? Let's get a little bit more for this connection and what's going on. Let's get a little bit more. There could be some sort of extreme distance here. I keep getting like someone here like constantly like pacing back and forth with their thoughts. Like constantly pacing, pacing, pacing. Like I miss you. I shouldn't say anything. I miss you. I'm not going to say anything. I miss you. I'm going to leave it alone. It's like this constant back and forth this person's going through at this time. And it could be you too, right? Take it how it resonates. This could be you right now regretting some sort of action or regretting ending something with someone here right because you may have had commitment issues yourself let's get a little bit more yeah pretending you know this has been like the strongest energy all month here i'm pretending that this doesn't bother me i'm pretending that there's you know not this intimacy someone here is also thinking of someone sexually constantly Right. I don't really want to go into the rated R, you know, position, but I do feel like someone here is thinking about the intimacy, the chemistry, the spark, the way that you used to connect here. Right. And again, there's this lust energy here. So someone here is questioning it. Like, what was this all about? Was it just lust for you or was it real? OK. And I feel like that is going to be something that's going to be answered for you moving into the next four weeks. OK, where you're going to and the extended, but you're going to get a better understanding of how this person truly feels. Let's get a little bit more for this pretending energy, please. What are we pretending about here? I'm pretending that I want to be alone, but I really don't want to be alone. I'm pretending that being alone is what's best for me at this time, but I prefer that you would that you were here. Or I would prefer that we have a conversation. Someone here is pretending that something's over. Or they're going to pretend that they want some sort of closure here. Hmm? Right? It's like I'm I'm wanting some sort of closure after setting setting some sort of tone. So I said it was over. I walked away or I gave off the vibe as if it was over. And now I'm pretending that I want to be alone. Someone here does not want to be alone here at all. Let's get a little bit more. Yeah, I'm still longing for you. We're both longing for one another. Okay? Someone here, it's, it's like also, you know, I don't want to like jump into third party situations here, but someone here is going to start realizing as if like, when you have something good, hold on to it. Right? When you have someone good, hold on to it. When you have someone that's on your side and you have someone that really cares about you and someone that really, um, you know, steps into that position, that that nurturing energy, you should always appreciate that. Or someone that actually brought in this energy of true love for you. Someone here is going to start to compare you to their past lover and compare you or, well, compare you to their ex or whoever they were, they were with at some point. I um, mean, they're going to start realizing like, wow, this was actually an upgrade. I'm over here playing games, right? Um, yeah. And there's like more emotions. Someone here is like thinking about the passion, you know, thinking about was this love? Is this love here? Okay. Let's get one more here before we jump into the extended, just to take a look at this person's next course of actions and also what we have moving forward in this connection, right? All right, let's see what the vibes are here. Let's get a little bit more for my viewers. We have unspoken feelings and regrets coming out again. What happened here? Regrets coming in twice. I'm lost for words. Someone here knows that they were wrong about something. I know I did something that wasn't right. I know I did something that, um, that disappointed you. That disappointed love here. Someone here, and it's not only about commitment. I feel like someone here just wasn't honest with their actions. It's like you would look into this person's eyes and you would see nothing but love. But when it was time for them to step up for you or be there for you, this person sort of backpedaled to some degree. And I feel like you are stepping into a position where you're saying, again, I'm not doing anything. I can't do anything, right? There's nothing left for me to do. But I know that this person's going to understand, you know, 
how they treated me, you know, wasn't fair. So I feel like the universe is working with the both of you at this time. And a lot of like epiphanies are happening. Again, I want to dig into this in the extended. And I want to see what this person's regretful about. And what this person plans on doing about this regretful energy. Do you want to apologize? Do you want to return? Do you just want to ponder? And we'll take a look at that in the extended. The link will be at the bottom if you are interested, if this resonates for you. I love you, of course, forever and ever. And have a beautiful week here. I feel like I lost the one person that I really cared about. I regret the fact that I'm missing out on this great adventure that we had with one another. Aww. I know, I know, like, I know I probably shouldn't be awing, but this is just the energy of, like, someone here realizing, like, I actually had a fulfilling relationship when I...